Have you heard the legend of the Groot slang? It's rumored that this is a colossal snake created by the gods after encountering which a person becomes eternally happy. However, not everyone can get away from such a rare encounter in one piece. This is Smart Pizza, and in this episode, you'll learn the legend of a mysterious snake from Africa, as well as about other creatures' encounters with which are extremely rare. Let's go! The Groot Slang is one of the most dangerous and venomous snakes in Africa. It got its name because of its unusual appearance. The snake's head was mixed with an elephant's head, and its body is covered with green, oily scales. Because of this, it's called the Sewer Snake, or Great Snake. The Groot Slang is very cunning and can camouflage itself well, which makes it dangerous to humans. It has very powerful venom that's fast-acting and can be deadly to humans. Some people even consider it to be the most dangerous snake in Africa. It was so in the past. According to a legend associated with the character named John Henry, who was convicted of a crime and sentenced to death before the master of the priesthood could save him, John saw the mysterious Groot slang snake slithering around his prison cell. The snake, John claimed, spoke to him and constantly urged him to escape. It quickly became his only friend, and John was able to run away with it, taking all the risks into account. Finally, after listening to the creeping one, he managed to escape from prison and then escape thanks to the master of the priesthood. Since then, many people in Africa believe that seeing the Groot slaying snake is a sign that their lives will change for the better. It also became a symbol of wisdom and protection, and its image was even used on the coat of arms of some African states. In an attempt to find their happiness, people have sent their own expeditions many times, but they didn't bring any results. It's believed that of the huge number of snakes that existed in the past, only one has survived to this day, hiding in a cave. And those who come to it will meet their doom. We're not done with legends for today. Our next creature, which will be discussed, is the basis of the Kraken legends. It's about an abnormally large squid found in Japan. Usually, these cephalopods are about 20 inches long and weigh up to 14 ounces. But the found individual exceeds 8.2 feet in length. It's very difficult to encounter such a monster of the depths. The fact is that usually such large creatures live at great depths and are almost inaccessible to humans. In Japan, the giant itself came to the surface. The reason for this behavior remains unknown. In addition to the fact that these squids live at a depth of up to a thousand feet or more, they are also quite aggressive. They rarely let strangers near them, especially if they are people. People will have the opportunity to study this genus of creatures properly only in the future, when technologies reach the appropriate level for diving and exploring creatures from the bottom of the seas and oceans. The Komodo dragon is the largest lizard species in existence and is only found on a few Indonesian islands. These animals can reach a length of over 13 feet and weigh more than 285 pounds. One of the main reasons why Komodo dragons are hard to find is their ability to camouflage and hide from humans. They spend most of their lives in the wilds, under trees, or in caves while communicating with each other. In this way, they can provide information about intruders and skillfully avoid contacts with humans that they are not interested in. Moreover, Komodo dragons have such a clearly organized social component that they know how to share food with loved ones. At the dinner table, only the oldest members of the family have the right to be the first to eat. Those of the young ones will try to push ahead of the queue in a brazen way, will be struck by a powerful, scaly tail. And if you take into account that at a time an adult can eat several tens of kilograms of meat, the young rarely get anything, therefore they are forced to go hunting and look for food themselves. It's worth noting that they manage to do this without much difficulty. They can instantly develop a speed of almost 12 miles per hour, have large size, incredible strength contained in their tail and teeth. Besides, Komodo dragons are famous for intelligence and first-class hunting tactics. Who said whales have to be giants? Mother Nature proves otherwise and brings the pygmy right whale to our attention. For a long time, this whale species was considered completely extinct until it beached itself in New Zealand in 2012. Unfortunately, it did not become real to encounter this whale more often because of this. It's still an insanely rare and unique find that not everyone gets to see. 
The reason is that whales of this species release two small fountains and jump out of the water for only a few seconds. Therefore, the way of life of these mammals is almost not studied. It's only known that a quarter of the body length of the pygmy right whale is occupied by a weighty head, and the total length of the animal is quite small compared to its larger relatives, only 13 to 20 feet. The pygmy right whale lives mainly in the seas of the southern hemisphere. Most often, it can be found near the coasts of South Australia, Tasmania, and New Zealand. The main features of this species is its curved nose. Because of this, the whale's face always looks as if it's frowning and dissatisfied with something. But in fact, this facial expression only means that pygmy right whales are related to bowhead whales. Sperm whales are unique whales that differ from the rest not only in terms of their form, but also in the presence of teeth and the principle of life activity. If a sperm whale was shown to some ancient people, they would definitely consider it a boogeyman from fairy tales or a deity. And indeed, it is quite problematic to believe that a 66-foot-long whale weighing about 88,000 pounds swims in the water. The toothed giant is especially distinguished from the rest by its predominantly large head. It's huge and voracious. It's not uncommon to find the bodies of large fish and a bunch of plankton in it. The lower jaw, studded with teeth, is shorter and narrower. Such an unusually slotted mouth gives the sperm whale a strange facial expression. It seems that the sea monster is smiling. The eyes of the sperm whale are located where, according to the laws of proportion, the neck should be. One of the main reasons why it's almost impossible for people to encounter these creatures is their habit of spending most of their time at a depth of up to 1.2 miles where they're looking for their food squid and fish. The second reason for the difficulty in finding sperm whales is that they're very fearful and cautious animals that can quickly escape to deeper water if threatened. Speaking of escape, here's an interesting fact for you. These creatures have the biggest brain of any animal on the planet. Despite this, they're not considered the smartest creatures. Sperm whales have a very advanced navigation and echolocation apparatus that allows them to find their food at great depths. Sperm whales are also one of the few animals that use the clicks made by their sinuses to transmit information to each other over long distances. In different languages, this creature has a bunch of different names. Despite this, they all have one thing in common. The peoples of the North and Siberia, as a sign of respect, call the polar bear their elder relative, the grandfather. And they not only call them, but consider them as such. They refuse to call the bear the polar bear for fear of offending it. It feels like they see it in every day and have already invented ways to communicate with polar bears. But things are a little different here. On the contrary, people living in the north encounter polar bears very rarely. The fact is that they live in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, which makes the animals extremely difficult to access not only ordinary people, but also for scientists. Harsh climatic conditions do not allow studying polar bears properly, so they remain a mystery even to this day. Of the interesting things that people still manage to learn at the moment is that all of these bears are left-handed. And their fur is actually not white, but transparent, due to the fact that the fur is completely devoid of pigment and its structure resembles a hollow bulb, the bear can change color. In summer, its fur may turn slightly yellow under the influence of sunlight, and in zoos located in countries with hot climates, it may turn green. This is due to the fact that in warm water, blue-green algae proliferate rapidly. They live inside the hair and color the fur green. The Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, is the largest of all tiger subspecies. These powerful predators can weigh up to 660 pounds, and their length with tail can reach 10 feet. Unfortunately, these tigers are currently under serious threat and are becoming extinct. The main reason for the Siberian tiger's rarity lies in the exorbitant hunting for them in the past, as well as the destruction of their natural habitat. Today, thanks to the efforts of government and other organizations, the Siberian tiger population is increasing. But the subspecies is still threatened and in need of additional protection. Surprisingly, despite the fact that people have been able to find and successfully hunt these creatures in the past, Siberian tigers themselves are quite secretive and cautious. They always sleep and hunt, avoiding contact with people. Along with this, they can definitely be categorized as social animals. 
They spend a lot of time with their young and sometimes form families in which they live and hunt together. In addition to such a problem as humans, Siberian tigers also face a shortage of prey in the wild. Also, these creatures have a completely unique coloration. The stripes of each Siberian tiger are unique. That's all, guys. What's the rarest animal you've ever encountered? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.